Begin by removing the air filter covers. For additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. With the air filter covers off, you can see the MAF sensor housing at the rear of the engine, red arrow, along with the harness, yellow arrow. Disconnect the harness, red arrow, by squeezing the two clips together and pulling it from the housing. Use a flathead screwdriver and release the clip, red arrow, that holds the sensor housing to the intake manifold, yellow arrow. Slip the mount off the housing. Here you can see the center clip, red arrow, and the clips that hold it to the manifold, yellow arrows. Wiggle the housing off the end of the throttle body. You will have to disconnect the breather tube, red arrow, to remove it from the engine. If the tube is new, it will slip on and off, but if it is old, you should plan on replacing this crankcase breather tube. Next, you're going to need to reach pretty far in behind the engine to locate the sensor. It's on the driver's side of the bell housing, just below the heater hose. You will have to feel around for it, as it is very difficult to see. Remove the connector, red arrow, from the sensor, yellow arrow. The sensor is held in place by an E8 reverse torque. I like to reach in behind the engine with my left hand, yellow arrow, to help place and hold the socket on. You will need a universal joint and a series of extensions, red arrow. Here is the sensor removed. I have found it is best to install the sensor with the bolt already in the hole. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.